Welcome to Mathematics Learning Solution, where you learn one math skill at a time. In this video, we will learn conversion of fractions into percentages. Let's start with the simple fraction 1 over 4, which is basically a quarter. Now we know that many fractions, we can convert them into percentage by first writing the denominator of the fraction as 100. Now if you see in this example, we know that if we were to multiply 4 with 25, we can convert this into 100. However, we also know that if we do something to the denominator, the same operation must be done with the numerator. So here, we're going to multiply the numerator also by 25, which gives us a new fraction, 25 over 100. Now we know that 25 over 100 is as good as 25%, right? So we've already converted this quarter or one-fourth into percentage, which gives us 25%. In the second example, we have a fraction 3 over 5. The idea is the same. We need to convert the denominator into 100. So if you were to multiply 5 with 20, which is another factor of 100, we have to multiply the numerator also by 20, which gives us a new fraction 60 over 100. Now, 60 over 100 is same as 60 per cent, therefore we could just write it as 60 per cent. So 3 over 5 is same as 60 per cent. In the third example, we have a fraction with the denominator 200. Now in the first two examples, we multiplied the denominator with a factor to give us 100. In this case, instead of multiplying, we could divide the numerator and denominator by the same factor, which would give us 100 in the denominator. So here we need to think 200 divided by what will give me 100? And I think we know that will be 2. So if you divide the denominator by 2, we need to divide the numerator also by 2. So now 71 divided by 2, that gives us 35.5, which is basically half of 71. And 200 divided by 2 gives us 100. Here we go, we have 35.5 percent and we could write it as a percentage, 35.5 percent. So 71 over 200 is same as 35.5 percent. However, not all fractions can be easily written with the denominator 100, so they cannot be easily expressed as a percentage using this first method. Now, as you can see in this example, we have 40 in the denominator. It's not easy to convert 40 into 100. So the second method, what we do is we need to multiply the fraction with 100 percent. Now, why 100%? Because we know that 100% is same as 100 over 100, which is 1, and therefore multiplying by 100% is same as multiplying by 1, and we are not therefore changing the value of the number. So the first step would be multiply the numerators, which gives you 300, keep the denominator as same, and now if you cancel the zeros, now we divide 30 by 4, which gives us 7.5%. So 3 over 40 as a fraction is same as 7.5%. In this example, we have 7 over 8. Again, as you can see, it's not easy for us to convert 8 into 100. Therefore, we use the second method where we multiply the fraction by 100%. We multiply the numerators, which gives us 700 divided by 8%. We divide 700 by 8, which gives us 87.5. And that's it. That's your answer. 87.5% is same as 7 over 8. I hope you enjoyed learning from this video. Thank you for watching Mathematics Learning Solution.